three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Insight UHC Season Two. Insight is a re is a organized by myself and Max with our new organizer Jr. Underscore Amazing. Uh, every season of Insight is based around a uh, principle or a abstract noun. Uh, to this season, we're gaining a deeper understanding of anxiety by playing UHC with a bunch of paranoia game modes. Uh, we have uh, regular paranoia, we have health paranoia, so you can't see your health in tab. And we're and doing we a gentleman's agreement on no slash H. Yeah, no slash H. And we have a uh, biome paranoia, so we can see which biome we're in, in the tab list. Uh, we're also doing mystery teams of four, so there will be five mystery teams. Uh, banners will be set at episode two, and we're doing banners instead of wolves. So for some rules and settings here, so stalking is off, stealing is on, towering is off, meetup will be start of episode six, PvP will be enabled at the start of episode 2, absorption is off, hits your 4 hearts, apple rates are 1%, flight rates are 35%, and nether is off this season. And we're I'll go to the talk three. power here, I guess. I can definitely, uh, a channel talk power here. Are you yeah. sure? Yeah. Why am I here? I don't want to be here. Why am I here? Why am I here? Are you sure? Why am I here? Everyone get out of my channel! Oh, that was it. Okay guys, welcome to Insight UHC Season 2. This season is Anxiety, it's Mystery Teams of Four. Paranoia, biome paranoia, health paranoia. Uh, yeah. This is this is good. Okay, we have two spectators, Banana Sash and JJL, or I guess Banana Sash is the host and JJL is the spectator. So yeah. Uh, looks like there's a lot of people in swamp biomes. Uh, I don't know what blue is. I think it might be river. Yeah, that's what I think it is. Um, we started. Oh, I should reload my sounds. There we go. Uh, I started in a good old swamp biome. That should start us off really well. I'm gonna try to keep up the, the commentary. Uh, try to maybe talk about some stuff. I don't want to stop talking to make sure you guys are all entertained until we find my teammate. That's just the thing. In, in mystery teams, I almost never find my teammate, so... Hopefully we do. Uh, I wonder who my teammate is. Uh, slash MT team size? Those are some pretty good team colors, uh, if I do say so myself. I love the mystery team's colors. Okay, uh, we're gonna get our stone tools real quick. Uh, I'm actually very excited for this. Um, as you saw from the intro, I am an organizer of this, so... Uh, no, we shouldn't be able to slash H ourselves. Oh, or I guess we can! Uh, no tricking is allowed. But that's part of a mystery team, so I'm kind of half on half on that. Wait, is the border shrinking? Because I'm getting the red tints around my screen. Or is that just the pack? I don't know. Um, I'm using item physics, so that's why everything looks lovely. Um, okay, so my plan, nether is off, so I'm not going nether. Uh, I'm going to BTC. I'd rather stick around for the... The long term. I don't like dying early in anything really. I'd rather stick till the end and like get one kill than actually never mind. I'd rather stick to the end and get no kills than to get a kill and then die early. Cause that's no fun. I like my favorite pattern of recorded rounds is the elimination factor, like who's the last man standing and who who is dwindled down, like that's my favorite part about recorded rounds and just UHC in general. Like when I first saw Minecraft and stuff, it was just, that was what intrigued me. That was what brought me into the community, was that factor of the process of elimination that I love in shows like Survivor when I was little, like Total Drama Island. Um, yeah, I just, I just love that feeling of like any story being last man standing. It's just, I just really like it. It's one of my favorite like story types, if that makes sense. Um, like, I don't like beat the bad guy, really. It's just winning is my... Well, of course, Grove is probably coming back. I would suck if Griffin left. And who was the... Whoever's on that team. 
that would that'd be pretty bad for them. Uh, yeah, last season, I got to the very end of uh, the season. I was in the final fight, but we lost, so, you know, nothing's perfect. Okay, we got, we got books, so that's nice. Um, actually, I'm gonna tell a story of how I got into UHC. It's, it's actually a pretty funny story, because I would not have the same friends as I have now, if not for, like, a crazy sequence of events that if this one guy didn't talk to me, uh, then... I would not be in the position I am right now. So, uh... So... Back when I used to play on the Nexus, I was like 11 years old or something. And, um... The Nexus was really fun because, like, stuff I don't really know. <laughs> it was just... My favorite YouTubers owned the server. Yes, I was a Beijing Canadian fan. And, um... Like... It was just exciting to play the same thing as your, your uh, the people you you liked were playing. Like, uh, you don't. Um. So I was playing the Nexus for a while, and then just one game. I think it was on Duckville City, which is probably one of the best map. Actually, what was it called? Orient. I think it was called. That was the best map. But Duckville City was like a close second. Uh. Uh, Duckbill City. It was on Duckbill City. So I found um, this guy who wanted to team with me. His name was Hot Rod Twelve Eleven, and um, um, yeah. So he wanted to team with me, and he gave me Skype, and we talked to each other, and uh, yeah, we were friends for a while. Like, actually, he's recently just drifted out. Like, I haven't talked to him in a year or whatever, but like, he was my he was a really good friend, um, and actually a funny story, he was the son of my dad's friend when he was little, cause, uh, he was Rod something junior, and my dad recognized that name, and apparently my dad knew his dad even though he lived halfway across the country, so that, that's, that's, that was really cool actually, um, but yeah, um, we were friends, and he introduced me to another YouTuber. Uh, his name was Yoshi Time Seven One Seven, and um, he, Yoshi Time, Hot Rod, myself, and my IRL friend Rohan, um, they, uh, what's it called? Uh, we were we were the we were the the quad. I don't know what to call it, it's like a duo, but, or a trio, but a quio, a quio, that's what we're calling it. We were the quio, um, we played the Nexus a lot, and we just, we had a lot of fun on it, um, and then, w we kind of moved on ever since, like, the Nexus 2.0, because it was, like, really crappy, um, we went to MCSG and became hardcore PvPers, and we had a clan, I forgot what it was called, but it was legendary, and we, like, lost half of it, but who cares, it was still really fun. And we were like sweat hearts. I was so much better then than I am now. But anyways, Yoshi uh, got on an SMP and started making videos for it. It was called uh, Color SMP. And I'm like, whoa, I want to do that. So I applied for it. And guess who the owner is? I play ball. Yeah, I play ball. That's when I first meet, met him. So I play ball. Uh, I I requested and he said, yeah. So we played Color SMP. Of course, it died. All SMPs do. Um, but I play ball, uh, and a bunch of other people from Color SMP, like, uh, Aqua, and, uh, the Pantless Pig, and, uh, Power, not Power MC, but, uh, another Power, um, and Delirious Nerd, and other people like that, we got, we were, we were, like, the new group and stuff, um, uh, we're the new group, I kinda left Rod, because he, he kind of left Minecraft, he didn't, he didn't really like it anymore, so, yeah, I kind of drifted away from Yoshi too, and now that was like my new group, and, um, I, I already, w I liked UHC, but, like, Yoshi, and, um, 
Yoshi and Rod didn't like UHC, so I didn't play with them. I only played FFAs and solos and stuff. Uh, I actually joined the community, not joined the community. I started playing Reddit UHCs. Um, late 2013, like almost 2014, 2013. And um, yeah, I just played FFAs and random teams until I was with uh, I play and and uh, Delirious Nerd to them, but like. Oh dang, he got a vein of five gold. Um, but, yeah, so that's when I started to really get into UHC. Like, I dropped MCSG and, um, and, uh, Bad Lion. I also played Bad Lion. Maybe that was a little bit longer down the road, I don't know. But I started getting really into UHC and I dropped all the other Minecraft PvP game modes that were, um, that I liked before. But, um,. Yeah, so I uh, I started playing UHC a lot, and there I met more people. Um, uh, I remember I joined the Mumble group because uh, Maverick put it in the uh, the what's it called the chat the the community post. That's what it's called. I forgot what it's called. Uh, that's how I know it's dying. <laughs> but um. He put it in the community post. I'm like, hey, that sounds fun. I saw uh, Minecraft do that. Oh, I, 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 UHC. I learned about it from Minecraft. I learned about it from Seth Bling's perspective of um, season 13. That's the one that he won. And that really got me hooked on the original concept. And yeah, that's, that's what got me to loving UHC in the first place. But what made me get it to love even more was all the people that I met here. Uh, like, all all these people, all my friends, um, I met through the UHC community, and it started uh, by joining the Mumble group. And I got to know JJL and Richard and uh, and Maxa and a bunch of other people that um, that would be that would be my friends right now. Um, I JJL and I started being really good friends. After we, uh, after me and Maxa were teaming in a, in a team of two, and then JJL was like spectating that game, because I remember he once was staff on Arctic, but that was before he got UBL'd. But, um, yeah, it was an Arctic game, uh, and Josh Twin joined our team speak. Um, Josh joined our team speak, uh, while we were playing, and then. That's where we kind of really bonded for the first time. <laughs> I know it sounds really weird, but yeah. Um, and then we became really good friends after that. I mean, uh, a bunch of other people from the Mumble group. I wasn't too close, but like we knew each other. Oh, Light also is a really good friend. Yeah, and and stuff like that. People like that. Um, yeah, and from there I got to get closer with Maxa and Richard and. After I played season one of Insight, I seemed pretty dedicated to a round, which it was my first round. So yeah, I was pretty dedicated to it. Um, and yeah, writing what down? Oh, oh, Josh can see who took damage. I guess my mom's coming home, so expect a little bit of background noise. Um, Check your Snapchat, boys. Oh, D is a legend. Okay. Uh, but yeah. And then I seem pretty dedicated to the round, so uh, Maxa and Richard reached out to me, and they're like, hey, you want to be an organizer of Insight? And I'm like, heck yeah. And then so, here I am. I came up with the K mode for this, and uh, the idea of Insight, I'm going to let you in on a little sneak tidbit or whatever. Insight usually originally was just a plain round but um i saw i think it might have been lethal winter's comment on something which said that vanilla rounds there's just so many of them and that you kind of need a theme to stick out from the rest so i looked up the meaning of insight because that was already our name and we had already played season one um and just being vanilla and then i was like hey um before we upload it, and before we finish the intro and stuff, 
I thought of a theme for insight, and they were like, what? And I was like, insight means uh, the, a deeper understanding of a subject. So I thought we could do uh, abstract nouns, which are nouns that aren't a physical thing, like uh, normality and anxiety, which we are using for season one and season two. Um, so yeah, I came up with normality since it was originally it was just a FFA, uh, or I mean a team of three vanilla, and um, yeah, it was originally not going to be a thing, and I was like, hey, we should do this, and then it was, and then we have a lot of cool game modes lined up for the rest of, uh, oh my god, <laughs> golden's going to be full diamond, okay, um, I'm calling it, and griffin, griffin and uh, golden are going to be full diamond, I can feel it. Um, yeah, I've been really excited for this for a really long time. Uh, and yeah, I guess that was my story of how Insight became part, or, or how UHC became a big part of my life, and how, um, I became an organizer on Insight. So, oh my god, should I start caving now? I think I should, but I also think that I should start getting apples. And then cave at the start of episode 2, because I'm not planning on rushing 0, zero. I'm planning on finding my team in full diamond, snowballed at 0, zero. I don't care if that's probably not going to happen. Let's see. <laughs> it would be illegal. Okay, if I blow up, I'm, I'm, so, I'm going to be so salty. I'm going to be so salty if I'm dying early, because <sighs> this will be out by then. I'm just saying, I died early in my past two rounds, so... I don't want to die early again. Prof. Took a bunch of damage, I guess. Oh, the MLG! I was actually kind of clutch, um, to be honest. Oh, by the way, thanks thanks a bunch for Banana Sash and Jacob Server for, for hosting this, because last time, we really didn't plan ahead. And we didn't have a dedicated server, so we just kind of found a random one. But now we have a dedicated server, and I'm really thankful for them for allowing us to uh, host host Insight on it. Because, you know, uh, we wouldn't be able to. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to have it without, without a server. We had a backup server, but it's not as good as this one. Um, so yeah, everyone's getting gold, and I'm just here with nothing. <laughs> um, I don't know how Paranoia is going to play into how fast people get killed because your cords get broadcasted um, whenever you do anything important. So like, oh, that guy is in chance. I should probably sneak up on him. But at the same time, you could use that to your advantage and try to find teammates um, since it's mystery teams. What well, The bad thing is whenever I tab out, I get um, my Minecraft kind of like doesn't respond for a while, so I'm going to probably ask them to move me into their channel if they find me. <sighs> this round is probably the best round that has gone in my my experiences. Like, it went, it started easier, everyone got easier, it's a good turnout. We only have, like, three people that couldn't make it. Actually, there was more. All the EU people... We had to move it to late at night for, not late at night, but like at evening for US people or NA people. But, um. Oh, that's a. That's not a skeleton, it's a spider. I mean, it's a zombie. So. Yeah. All the EU people, it's like midnight for them, and all the EU people are new, so I guess it's still a dedicated NA round. Um. Okay, D has two gaps so far, so I'm worried about that. But honestly, D's not that good, so... Because he's also getting like two FPS when he records. So I guess I have an advantage there, which is kind of unfair, but you know. Life is life. Golden has an enchantment table. GG. Eh. My mouth is getting dry. Solo commentary is hard for this reason. 
only this reason for me. I mean, I have stuff to talk about, but it's just talking for a while makes my mouth really dry. And yeah, okay, I'm just gonna go down. I didn't get any apples. I forgot to go back for the swamp. Okay, digging down it is. Uh, I'm actually gonna break this. So, I'm gonna fight out. Okay. <sighs> I wanna be Iron Man, kind of. Oh, by the way, I just wanna say this. Rowl is better than any of the evolutions. Or, I mean, any of the other starters. I don't care what you say. Rowl is the best. I originally went with Litten because it's a cat and I love cats. And But then I saw that Rowlet had a leaf bow tie. And that kind of changed it for me. I mean, how cute is that? Okay, Dylan has diamonds. Golden has more diamonds. I'm... I'm honestly worried about this at this point. It'd be cool if we could have Mumble, but that would just be too much of a hassle in my opinion. To get everyone to install Mumble. West got an 8 vein. I want to kill Power again, just like last season, just to kind of troll him. I mean, oh, that's Lapis. End of episode one. See you guys next time.